Hello everybody, this is Waldorf. And this is Stetler. And today we're looking at the Ninth Age Fantasy Battles. What are we looking version. at? The rule book. Yes. <laughs> Second edition version 2.00. I'm sorry, 0. 0.202.0. Really? Okay. That's all necessary. <laughs> yes. Okay. This Hold is, my yeah. This is what is known as the hot fix. This is the hot fix. It makes you hot when you read all those numbers. Mm -hmm. Looks like a date or something. <laughs> anyway, so it this seems, is the, seems yeah. you've made a lot of people hot on the message board. It depends on which board you're reading, but yes, that's true. No one likes their stuff to get a nerf. Correct. <laughs> it's always the end of the world. Yes. Um, so this is the uh, what you say the February fifth update for February, and this should be stable until what did they say April? I thought April, May, yeah, somewhere Ish. around there. Um, and primarily, the, the focus here was mostly it looked like it was adjusting points, and it was for one of the committees or so many, one of the AB, one of the ABC committees, <laughs> in the um, to uh, review the top like five things that each army. Well, group. the committee met to decide which committee would set the committee to decide which committee, committee would, would authorize make the, the committee <laughs> exactly to uh, make the change for approval by the committee and the, once it was reviewed by the committee the and advantage there was to, input from all the committees <laughs> the real advantage to all this is you can never find out which committee did this to your army <laughs> exactly <laughs> this is the beauty so, so it's a fantastic plan from them <laughs> got to commend them on that one so somebody who works on Ninth Age is clearly a government employee. Because <laughs> now there's the EE committee or whatever. Because that way no one's accountable. Words. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No one's accountable for anything. Um, my understanding with the hot fix was it was to fix things they things they had quote missed or were broken or were or were egregious errors that needed right. to be smacked down. Right. I did not think it was. I did not think it was. Ooh, that orc Ed Basher spear is one point overpriced. It needs to go uh, down because God, that guy needs to save twenty points in his army. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, I'd assume that every time they make a change, they're going to tweak as a way to balance. They're always going to look at balance, and they're always going to correct points. Well, the nice thing was, sorry, never mind. <laughs> okay. the, the nice thing was they asked us what needed to be affected. <laughs> All right, never mind. They Let's asked move for on. the the top five things. They did, and some of them were acted on. <laughs> Can you show me one? <laughs> yes, yes I can. Moving on. Um, it's not my fault that your army, uh, your army book committee went AWOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny too. We seem to have misplaced an orc and goblin army <laughs> yes, book committee. Yes. Arm oh, sorry, an ACS, whatever that army Cle committee. Clearly, support. clearly, the army was led by a troll, and they went, they, they got stupid and wandered off somewhere. <laughs> Stupidly affected them, and they, or maybe. Yes, I, I, that is the perfect example from what I've heard. What I heard is they were a troll and stupidity affected them and they wandered off. I think that happened to a high elf, certain yeah. high elf guy too. Yeah. Well, they got changes. Anyway, um, meanwhile, enough of that. So yes. Enough of that nonsense. Let's move on. So we're going to go through all of the meaningful changes that we, we picked up on. Correct. If you see something... That we missed, posted the notes, and was, and, we'll, and we'll be sure to delete it. Yeah, because it would be interesting for us to find out, and then we'll delete it so no one else can prove that we missed something. Exactly. Then we do another video and take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with a general rule, which was the maximized and minimized die roll. Yes. Yeah, so this is a new rule, so that they don't have to write this everywhere. Yes. So basically. If it's a maximized roll, you roll an extra dot d6 and discard the lowest. If it's a minimized roll, you roll an extra, you roll an additional d6 and discard the highest. And these rules are cumulative. So right. if you get two instances, you roll two dice and discard two dice. Yeah, I went through two thirds of the rule book and I didn't pick up on this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you keep seeing the maximize and minimize. But I saw all the maximize and minimize. Oh, maximize, yeah. <laughs> so that must mean it's a twelve. <laughs> must mean it's a twelve. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, I think this is their reference. Clearly, the, almost everything in the game they've been trying to turn into a rule, right, or into a special rule, and this kind of goes down that that path. Actually, I like this because they don't have to write these three sentences everywhere. So I was a fan of it. Yeah, um, <clears throat> maybe it was named something different. I'd like it better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. enhanced. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Um, 
private, this is a good example of things that were changed to to be more understandable. I mean, to be what's the written written for more clarity. Thank you. There you go. So the rules clarity team must have stepped it up yes. and fixed a lot At of At least on things. this one. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So the priority modifiers, from what I can tell, because I was always reading through the priority modifiers, always made my head hurt. But yeah. from what I can tell, it's all the same. It's just written so it makes more sense. Yeah, I didn't Easier see to anything take. different, but you know. Right. And I'm sure there's somebody going to, in some tournament game I play and will pull something on me. Yes, probably. Oh, you missed this. All right. Anyway. The next change. So you'll see that basically there's green text, which in theory is nothing more than clarification text. Then there's blue che text, which is in theory a rule change. However, a lot of the blue is not really a change; it's just presented in a different way. Correct. So, like in incorporating the new, you know, max minimum. Right. Is a new rule, so they did it in blue, but it's really, it really works exactly the same as right. rolling one d six and more and discarding the highest or rolling one less so yep. don't just zero in and seeing the color and think you can ignore it you do kind of need to read through yes okay. even some, there was a green one i think i recall that actually impacted and understood how things work too so you have to be okay. just check it out uh the next significant change that i really like is building yes. the battlefield yes so they've changed the randomization chart so now hills become a more significant part yes. of the game um the same uh, probability as forests and buildings now have the same correct. probability. And they're, uh, like I said, they're a more significant part of the game, and the chasm is no longer a part of the game. Right. So, for all those people that were busy with their modeling experiences trying to create chasms, yeah, I forgot to, I forgot who it was on our message board oh, that we need to send our condolences to. Uh, we're was, gonna find them. <laughs> <laughs> who was building these? Yes. You know. Or was suggesting yeah, building these the nice, no, well-painted yeah. depth perception models. <laughs> exactly. Yep. So, so good be, luck. Hope gonna, you enjoyed it. They're going to be very angry, and, and, and we're going to be down to <laughs> we're going to be down to two subscribers. Right. <laughs> the, but now and, and a thousand Russian bots. So fields, forest, and Im cliffs, which are basically impassable terrain, right. become the most popular terrain. The board with hills following close behind. Correct. Hills, forests, and buildings are the. Oh, it's eleven, twelve. I'm sorry. It's not 10, 11, 12, it's 2, 4. Correct. The most common are forests and hills. Then it's going to be fields and ruin, fields and cliffs. cliffs. Correct. Uh, 11 has three oper three chances. So then I guess it's wall and uh, yeah, other stuff. water and then building is. Right. Which is placed. okay. Yeah, that's fine, especially with what they've done with building rules. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's. Uh, so I'm glad that the one's gone and I'm glad they put hills so a little more common. Yeah, I agree. And you start with. Uh, Again, this is the old rules. Start with a building, building, or if you want to use the old name, building or impassable right. hill and a forest. Yeah. Start on the board. Right. So, yeah. I, I like kind of wish they would have renamed cliffs to something else, but that's Impassable okay. would have been fine, yeah. but to me. I guess, a, a guess they didn't want to use the escarpment word. Escarpment or, you know, something They didn't want to use the word impassable. Yeah. I, I, I would prefer just impassable yeah. because yeah. it can be anything. It can be a big fountain, anything you want to put on the board. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right, the next big change we come across is, if you notice, here's all the deployments. And again, here's the green text and blue text we talked about that, you know, anyway. <laughs> it's all there, kind of means the same thing. Nothing really changed in here. Right. It's just explained better. But right after you get through all the deployment types, however, and you get to the secondaries, you're no longer just told to mark the center of the board. Right. You're told to mark the center of the board and what that's going to mean. Right. So you no longer have to roll all, scroll all the way to the back of the, almost the rear of the rule book and find out what the effect is. Right. They moved it forward, which is, we love that. They moved it forward with everything else. You don't have to search for it. It might be one of our fa favorite clarifications. <laughs> yeah, actually, oddly enough, it is because <laughs> when you look at, when you look for it, it's like, oh, look, we're going to do, we're going to do breakthrough and we got to do this. And it's like, and inevitably some well not breakthrough simple but some of the other ones what does right. that actually mean again oh we have to turn it about let's go find anyway yes and of course you have to scroll and you, you have a piece you have your printout instead of your laptop and you correct have to filter through all the pieces of paper anyway thank you <laughs> yes. whoever 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 decided to do this thank you <laughs> yeah it's a good one you have my thanks nothing's different just just right. easier to manage 
Next, we come to spell selection. Another one, popular one for you. A uh, popular one for me. Take away an exception. <laughs> yeah. There was the exception that you cannot choose the one in four spells or, or, the, or the one, one in six. six if you're a master. Yep. That is now gone. Great change. Yeah. To me, it was an unnecessary complication since they've agreed balanced the spells to a large degree. But, yep. you know, it wasn't the end of the world, but I think it's, it's an improvement. Yeah, definitely an improvement. And that's... Especially for people who want to play certain paths <laughs> well if you want to play a six the problem was that you like the one and six but you wanted yeah. to run a wizard master yes so now you're kind of forced into taking a second one or going with or, one or, or not having it yeah that brings us to the charge phase where we seem to have lost the decimated test yeah thank god <laughs> <laughs> um i think the decimated test was just an unnecessary comp uh, complication i do too just added something else to the game yep happy to see it gone you know and hurt certain types of units more than others. Yep. And yeah, definitely. Um, next we came to, oh, magical moves. They've made it clear now that shaken units cannot be magically moved. Yeah, so this is a big deal because you'd have spells where people would fail a charge and then they would magical move back Correct. their units or move them someplace else. And it, the rules were un unclear to a lot of people the way right. they're written i know it was answered in the q a forums but it was unclear the way it was written and people would still you know not everybody not everybody reads those hundreds of pages in the q a forums especially when you might get three different answers <laughs> <laughs> yes from official people and non-official people <laughs> from, yes some of the non-official people have stepped it up and been doing a really good job there mm -hmm. too i still would rather officials only answer <laughs> yeah. but whatever you get the answer a little bit faster. Uh, what do we got now? Hopeless shots. There you go. So hopeless shots. The last version was you, if you're if you had to hit um greater than a six, you applied all your modifiers up to six, then you had, you rolled another die and you uh, to hit again, applying the rest of the modifiers. First you had to roll the six, right? And then the way it was written, it, it just made your head hurt. <laughs> and then you you'd sit there doing your modifiers, and you go to the second. Did I apply that? Right. Oh shoot! Let's start over again. So you know, I suppose we're very old and confused. Yes, for people who <laughs> had like really high ballistic skill archers, they liked it, but it just wasn't worth the trouble. So they've they've made it much simpler. Frankly, it's simpler even than the old version so correct you up well, to six is normal if it's a seven you you can still do it by rolling a six and fall by a four other than that you can't hit at all so there's no more hitting on eights or nines correct yeah so um, people are taking just ridiculous shots because they can to me a nice a nice change yes i like this um next we have buildings yeah buildings are no longer the primary defensive weapon skill <laughs> yeah. Model in the board in the game. Yeah, they've dropped from ten down to five. Yes. Um, so there you go. So it's easier if, to hit guys in if, buildings. If buildings were bothering you, now their defensive skill. Yeah. Uh, five. Buildings are bothering me. They're still bothering me. <laughs> you still don't like the fact I, you can go. I in much buildings, prefer do you? the you don't you don't go in them and just made it so much easier. Um, the battle standard bearer was changed so that now the battle standard can. Purchase up to two banner enchant enhance enchantments, um, even if he has other special equipment. Used to be that if you could buy one banner enchantment and special equipment, or two banner enchantments, now you can. Yeah, this is an old hold any mix up to two from the game that shall not be mentioned, where you had one of the I'll other. I'll mention it. <laughs> yeah, but no, I like this change. Um, makes it so it's kind of interesting. Take some. Uh, low point enhancements and you can still get some protection on your guy or a weapon or something Correct. so uh it's not a there was you know it was a, it could be very easily an either or before and i think this really opens things up i really like this and i don't think it breaks anything <laughs> yeah uh well that's to be seen yet but well that's because of other reasons not, <laughs> not because of this rule right, right, right <laughs> because right. a combination is, is broken, <laughs> you know Trust me, I've got a couple of people who will find everything they can break and break it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Frenzy. Um, you'll see, notice a lot of the models in the army books lost Fearless that had Frenzy. Well, now that become, because that's part of the Frenzy rule. Right. Um, Frenzy's no longer, you no longer take the minus two 
checks, but now you take a maximized roll check to see if you have to charge or pursue. So <clears throat> used to be whatever your leadership is, minus two, you tested to restrain. Now it's a maximized roll. So basically you're rolling three dice and minusing the lowest to see if you restrain. I think the odds come out pretty close to where you were. It depends on what your leadership is. Depending on what you I mean, if your leadership's in the average mm -hmm. range, it's pretty close. But when you start getting on the extremes, it makes a bigger difference. Mm -hmm. right? So when you're within seven, you take a discipline test. Your advance plus seven. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, which is called a frenzy test. Which it's, is your average charge, basically. Right. Uh, if the test has failed, the whole unit must declare its charge as possible. When a unit with at least one model with frenzy takes a frenzy test or this one has to restrain from pursuing, the test is subject to maximize roll. Oh, was I reading this wrong? So that's to restrain. The way I read it oh, is oh, oh, I was Yeah. Okay, you're that, correct. That's what I had remembered. So yeah, but I, I was second guessing myself. So it makes it so at least you're not running out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look it's easy. At that makes a discipline chat test right called a no it's called a frenzy test yeah but, then but it says when a unit with at least one mo model yeah, you do take a frenzy with, test takes a frenzy test or does and where's it define a frenzy test is up right here a discipline test to to restrain no where's it defined that a frenzy test is uh is maximized right here if you have one model with frenzy takes a frenzy test or, or a discipline, discipline test, test to, to restrain, restrain from pursuing the to restrain from pursuing. Okay. The test is yeah, subject yeah, yeah. to maximize okay. roll. Hmm. Okay. So you no longer have to take a. You take a frenzy test to re restrain from. To restrain to, for pursue. To not. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to not charge, you know, you take a test. Do you take a test at all? Let's take a discipline test. If this test Call is failed, yes. Yeah. Take, called take, a frenzy test. If but this test has failed, must declare player. Right. When you know these one model frenzy takes a frenzy but it's or not maximized. test to restrain. The one that's restrain. maximized is, ah, the, you are correct. is the pursuing one. So the test to not charge is not maximized. Right. Okay. Wow. All right. So I, I, is, that's too wordy for me. I couldn't. It, it, I, it I is too wordy. It yeah. It is too wordy. But I think it, it makes it. I thought frenzy before was awful. Right. Because stuff would just go running out of your battle line, you know. Right. Even when, even in a bubble, it was running out into the battle line. You were just drawing guys out to get points. Right. Um, and this at least makes you have a chance to hold you guys together. Okay. Within the bubble. Or if they have high leadership. Yeah, but I think you're still taking the test with maximized role. Okay. It's all on this sentence right here. Yeah. When a unit with at least one a model, model makes frenzy. a frenzy, with frenzy, takes a frenzy test. test or now, this... Or the question test. is... So either or. Well, either or, correct? Mm -hmm. So you have to take a frenzy test if you're trying to restrain from charging because of this. To restrain from pursuing. There's well, no comma there. Well, no, no. You just said either or. It's either a frenzy test or a discipline test. Right. The frenzy test is defined above, meaning... The frenzy test is when you don't want to charge. That's a frenzy test. Correct. See? But right this, is, this is not defining what a frenzy test is. Correct. Just this is telling you, if I have to make a frenzy it's... test, I do it using a maximized roll. Then it should have a comma. I, I believe it's just written poorly. I think it's what I was saying originally. This is written horribly. Um, <laughs> it's saying when a unit with at least one model makes a frenzy, with frenzy, makes a frenzy test. Now, if there's a period there, let's just assume there's a period there. Mm -hmm. And then we go, the test is subject to a maximized roll. Okay? Right. That would mean, like I'm thinking, this then that would check apply. to that. Now, but they threw in this or discipline test to restrain you from pursuing, the test is made. So does this, the test is subject to a maximized roll, apply only to this discipline test to restrain from pursuing, or is it, Restrain or does it apply to this and the frenzy test? Because this frenzy test is referring to the above, not charging. This one test. 
And we looked at this before we talked about yeah, this. Yes, we did. So I'm just telling you, yeah, yeah. this is not written well. <laughs> well, Where is that rules clarification team? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see what they have to I say. Gave them, I gave them kudos. They're too, a little bit too early. <laughs> yes, yes. They missed one. So, yeah. I, the way I read this and the way I'm thinking the intent is, mm -hmm. is both of these type tests are done doing Do a maximized, maximized role. Okay, so if you see that, then you're still not going to see frenzied. That's the yes. way I see. Okay. Uh, um, so unit is unbreakable. Are you after after talking about it? Do you read it differently still? I think it's badly written. <laughs> yeah, but what do you interpret the meaning of that is? I think you can argue the point. Correct. You can definitely argue the point. Not saying that. I agree with you one hundred percent on that. I think you can argue the point. But what do you think they want? Um, I have no idea what they want. The way I read it is. It only applies to the maximized role. Well, because it says here, when a unit is forced to declare a charge due to a failed frenzy test. Oh, okay. You're saying the frenzy test. Well, the only time you take a frenzy test is when you're trying not to charge. And that's the only reason I think it's, it's that's why you can argue it. Yeah. But they yeah. use the word discipline test above all, so it must take a discipline test called a frenzy test. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it takes a frenzy test or discipline test. He said it's clarification, so... Um, all right. So what I'm seeing is, so if it was when a unit, uh, with at least model, uh, takes a frenzy test, um, or discipline test, uh, see the problem is to restrain from pursuing. Yeah. The test, I think it's either one both, of these tests. The test in both cases is subject to to the maximum right. role, role. So, so I think they're both subject to maximized role and the frenzy test is only the pursuit stop from see the frenzy test itself means i don't want to charge test because yeah right maybe, maybe yeah anyway whatever okay it's way too much time on. so it's different than it was before you don't have all those factors sometimes it applies sometimes sometimes it the minus sometimes not yeah so they've cleaned it up in that regard right <laughs> and i've never even liked this sentence this sentence has been around for a while Characters are never forced to charge out of their units due to a failed frenzy test. Well, does that mean the character doesn't have to charge, or does that mean the unit can charge with him? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that could be argued as well. I, I think I know what the intent is there, but yes, I think the character in a unit doesn't yes have to charge out. Yes, but yes. Anyway. But it was out of their units. So Let's yeah. get off of that one, please. Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> all right. Skirmishers. Skirmishers have lost their 180 degree charge arc, basically. Yes. Is what this all comes down to. Right? I don't. That's yes. Basically, what that's see. what it is. So they fixed because that was broken. Right. Especially unless you were a dwarf player, then you loved it. Yeah, with your slayer or your, yeah. sorry, seekers. Yeah. <laughs> the, seekers. Yes. Um, well, dwarf players love everything because <laughs> stuff works good for them. Yeah. Um, there's a new attack attribute. It's called a close combat right. attack. It's just a way of defining certain attacks so right. you can know which things apply, which special rules apply to that. Yeah, so you have shooting and you have close combat. So right. sort of melee, it's close combat. Correct. Not a, not a major thing. You'll just see later right. down through here, you'll see close combat. Especially all on all the weapons up there. Uh, yes, like right here, all this, speaking yeah. of which. <laughs> um, so now we get to magic, magical... No, not enchantments. Common special equipment. All magical attacks. So you can see they've they've cleaned this up. So every magical weapon now has magical attacks. There were a few that did not, um, and I don't think that was the intention. I just think it was missed. Um, yeah, I was wondering about when we talked about that before. That some a lot of the common ones didn't have magic attacks. What is really odd, and I'm just again wondering if it's a miss. There's one item without a close combat. That's not a close combat weapon. I don't think it's a mess. It's because it's on hand weapons or pa paired weapons. Okay. The other ones can apply to any close combat weapon. Oh, okay. It's restricted. I'm actually surprised they okay. haven't restricted a few more. Okay. When I'm you go to the army that. books, you see more of that. Correct. You do. Yeah. Good point. All right. Um, moving on down through here. Um, Assault and fusion. What's this? Assault and fusion. Yeah, that just changed because. Fireproof is no longer a rule. Right. Um, now it's just an Aegis save with a description. Yeah. So um, 
it, it, there was a chance. There's a point where they eliminated a rule. Fine. Yeah. Nice. Any any rule that disappears, I'm okay. With. <laughs> As, as long as as long as there's a replacement that makes sense. I mean, there's a way to handle it that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The rending banner took a hit, um, change yes. I should say. Um, it's a one use only. Activate at the start of any round of, of a round. Maybe activate at the start of a round of combat. Right. The effect lasts until the bearer's unit is no longer engaged in combat. So, right. it's a one use. Start at any round. But it lasts for the combat, not for the round. Yeah. So anyway, um, bit of a took a little bit of a hit on that. Right. It's no longer every game turn. Well, they had to do something when they made it three per army. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. You know. um, I don't mind. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know about the points or if they're right or not. But uh... okay. Um, the Aether, Aether icon uh, went from being magic resistance one. To being magic is in effect magic resistance plus one. Yeah, we wouldn't write it that way. I, it should just be magic resistance plus one. Yeah, yeah. And it could have been done, but so this is nice because you know magic resistance normally doesn't stack in the game, and you have a couple things with ones, and you're paying the points. You can only use one of them. So right, this uh, this allows you to get your way to stack in well, certain, certain, certain. Remember, the BSB can take two, and the unit can take one. So you can have three instances of this in an army. Yeah, I'm saying you can stack in it one now. unit. Right. Yeah. So, so it makes it so you've got Correct. those guys that had MR1. You would have never taken this thing. Now it gives you a reason to take. Because to me, MR1 is nothing to write home about. But MR2 makes right. a big difference. That's a that's a dice change. No, change. I was saying is. But now you can really the, stack up your guys. Right. Yeah. The BSB, you, you can have MR3 in a unit with three of these. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I don't know that I'll ever do it, but it's kind of nice. Is, is MR capped? Uh, I not that I'm aware of. So if you got but guys got one or two MR, you can maybe get up to a really good. Yeah. <laughs> make them really anti magic. <laughs> Somebody's casting in a minus six on you. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure that possible to get that high, but whatever. Yeah, I'm sure the um, dwarves have the ability. <clears throat> they can do everything else. Flaming standard didn't take any change. It should be noted that the I guess the 2.0 2.01 rules or whatever made flaming doesn't work in water now. Right. Uh, um. Uh, Legion standard. They clarified the way this works. Yeah. Um, the Book of Arcane Power went way down in price, but it cannot be taken with by a master anymore. Right. So you're plus one to cast unless you have some special army thing. So they're definitely hitting the um, the plus ones. Are going you know taking a hit. Right. They're trying to get rid of the plus twos. Plus two. Yeah. That's sorry. The plus twos yeah. are going away because of that. In it. Or getting limited. Also, make sure you consider more multi wizards, which I, I think is all was a good choice for some armies anyway. But yep. Speaking of which, the crown of the wizard king is twenty points cheaper. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I like this item. Yeah, it's a completely randomized path now too, so I like that. Yep. I think it's a fun item. It is. It's a fun item. Um, moving on down, the binding scroll. Shame you can't make an adept. <laughs> the, we can't. Oh, I didn't. Know. Yeah, yeah. An adept hat. Uh, the binding scroll. What the heck? There is two per army. Um, the changes is only a single binding scroll may be activated during the same phase, um, but you can't two per army. <laughs> hmm. So this is the item that basically you pick an enemy wizard and say you're not going to cast a specific spell this magic phase. Correct. Um, and they can't cast it. So before, that could be helpful at the right time in the right place. Um, it's a little <clears throat> expensive for that ability uh, compared to the old Dispel uh, Scroll. Um, but now at least you can have a couple of them. So you can, in theory, if you're playing like Vampire, so you can uh, maybe get that of that Raise Guy spell can't go off for two turns. That can be a big deal right. for a Vampire player. Well, the big thing with this spell, this scroll, is, you know, you've seen... I don't know. Most most armies I've seen have two or three spells that I don't want to happen to me. If it's only two that I'm really worried about, then this is a fantastic item because you shut one down, you save your dice for the other. Right. You, his magic phase is blown. Right. I think this is a it is a sneaky good item. Yeah. So and then I think people are going to catch on to it, and I think you're going to be seeing more of these. Yeah. Um, I think the two. I think. And having two, I mean, you got to like, find. You got to find a place to put 110 points worth of item, but yeah, that's it. But you find two. But I think you'll see one more. You're basically shutting down a third of their magic phase. You do that early in the game. You can kill their mage, 
right. and turns five, you know, all of a sudden maybe they've only got a couple cast, a couple turns of casting. <laughs> so yep. that can be pretty powerful. I, guess, I can see that going back down one per army. <laughs> they, <laughs> I could too. Yeah. Uh, next thing we have is the crystal ball. Uh, 50 point item. After spell selection, mark a single enemy model in the opponent's army list. That's where you don't have any dispute over which one you chose. Right. And all dispelling attempts of spells cast by that model gain plus one. So it's a plus one to dispel item, but it only works against a single model, which is a really good item against uh, the single mage armies. In any army that has a single caster, this is really good against. Yeah. Um, if it's not, I mean, you go against an army with a ton of uh, bound spells or whatever, it, this is not going to be a good good choice, in my opinion. Yeah. But. Well, it makes the uh, it makes the three die bound spell. Um, now you need a seven to get rid of it. Yeah an easier choice not to throw three dice at right anyway i just i i like this item yeah no, quite it's, a bit it's definitely the anti-wizard master and if you'll notice it's not limited to being on a wizard yeah yeah anybody in the army can carry it find 50 points of space on somebody and there it is yeah it's just a little, it's probably a little too cheap for what it does i, I think it is <laughs> yeah i think it may i think we may see it come up in price yeah i think uh, it, definitely should for right now so for what we were talking about a minute ago so if i carry the obsidian rock and then right. buy the, the banner ether banner <laughs> yeah with which your, is 35 with so your, for 85 with... i have mr3 yeah unless you give them two of them two ether banners yeah yeah and then and, go and up then, to mr4 then your unit gets one and <laughs> then unit gets one and go up to five yeah, yeah anyway. <laughs> um that's crazy good yeah um, the other thing that's, I don't know if we, yeah, we kind of missed the other thing, Pat breezed over the other thing. Um, magic resistance affects bound spells by making in them the value of the magic resistance easier to dispel. So the one easier to dispel, basically. So like if you so got the, somebody three, cast the van braces at your guy with the obsidian rock, that spell goes off on a two slash six. Right. Which makes it really yeah. helpful to dispel. And if he's got the crystal ball on top of it. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> even worse. Yeah. Um, but those are Is these. Those yeah. are the changes we've. Dragonfire jam. You see the blue there. It's just. It's actually just a rewrite because it's what we talked about earlier. Yeah, with fireproof being what fireproof being gone, replaced by Aegis. Correct. Basically, they've thrown more stuff into Aegis and they've thrown more stuff into devastating attacks to reduce the number of special rolls. Which. Yeah. No complaint there. No, none at all. Me. So, um, like I said, those are the changes we've noticed. If uh, you shouldn't run there, into something, shouldn't there be one more? What's one more? The, the green screen. Yeah, we kind of talked about that on the first one, though, didn't we? When we talked about the uh, priority, the, we can say here. Yeah, I'll bring it up just there for you. Yeah. So this is all. Those were the changes that we noticed that were were actual changes. This is an example of a whole page of green where they've basically tried to simplify or clarify uh, um, the the rules. There was a lot of uh, grief on the last version that people couldn't understand the rules as they were written. And Why would we, they say that after reading yeah, the frenzy rule? We were, yeah, we were, <laughs> we were kind of in that camp too that they were trying too hard on the technical side. Uh, so they, they, they clearly, if you, you're gonna see there's a lot of green in the rules and uh, it's really them just trying to straighten out and simplify things. So take the hats off of that, I think they still have to, do some work. There's a guy who writes rules. He's in Richmond, Virginia. His name's Sam Mustafa. He wrote a number of historical games, uh, Blucher, Maurice, mm -hmm. Longstreet. Uh, and um, that guy has a, a, a fantastic writing style. So you understand intent and the rule. Okay. And uh, if they should do anything, they need to find somebody, a creative writer uh, that can they can balance the technical writers right <laughs> so correct so, because you know it, it's just it's just too hard because i mean the other thing is you say oh you know it's, it's english it's, but the problem is there are which version of english right there are very <laughs> uh, there are there are there's minor things that change intent in in american english and british english and depending on which one you're trained to write in or trying to read you get a different interpretation 
um, particularly with the use of punctuation and where right. commas go into ands and, and ors, <laughs> you know, you know. And the use of semicolons, and you know, so it, I think it's, it's important not just to write the technical rule, but it's important to actually, and that's probably where maybe more fluff is needed, but to at least to give an intent to to Correct. frame the rule. You're always going to have the rules lawyer, no matter how hard well you write it. <laughs> there's always going to be that guy who finds a loophole, who's going to try to and is going to argue it. You know, six ways till Sunday when it's ob when it's obvious to ten people in the room. Right. You know, you're never going to protect against that guy. What you're trying to do is you know write to the, to, you try to write to the lowest common denominator, but to the point where it's you know, it's it's understandable by the by the most people. I think the other challenge is the more the longer your sentences get. I like when you have bullets, for example, Correct. when you list things instead of putting them in common sentences. It's easier to read. Do more of that. You also have people that English is their second language. That yes. <laughs> those subtleties are going to be even harder for them. Forget about it. English speakers, and then you have English speakers that maybe. When it, frankly, when the language starts getting really complicated, they don't get it either. Right. <laughs> so because they they didn't use English at that level, that high technical <laughs> level. <laughs> so you know. That's me. Yeah. So it's like you know trying to read. Uh, try, why you need a lawyer to sometimes read uh, uh, read clauses. <laughs> right. Because exactly. You, what does this mean? Because words have different meaning in different contexts. You know. So. Yeah, right. I think they really need somebody to come in as a creative writer to balance the, even if it's like. People used to hate this with GW, but or with Flames of War, where they give you like a little first thing about the, the this little is what paragraph this is. Yeah. Of kind of it's fluff. not a rule, but at least and right. you don't use it as a rule, but hopefully it'll help you. Well, some people try to. Yeah, people <laughs> try to, or people would just not read them because right. sometimes it helps. And frankly, yeah. of course, diagrams fix a lot of things too. But hats off that they're trying to that they're trying to simplify they are. how how the rules are written. It's, but you know that'll that'll take them a while to get to. Yeah. Simplification is always the last thing. First is getting the rules right, and then it's finally, how do we write these so everyone understands Then start to clarify and simplify. But you're going to see a lot of green in this uh, in this update. There is. And so it's almost all. Well, that was a huge criticism I saw on the, web, yeah. on the forums. Was exactly. The, uh, why is this written so complex? So clearly, you know, they recognize that was a problem. They tried, they tried to make some efforts. Mm -hmm. I agree. And I, like I said, I read this and came up with, what I think is the proper answer. Mm -hmm. But then you have convinced me that I was wrong. Yeah. So And now you've half convinced me that I'm wrong. But now I'm back now I'm back to <laughs> so where now I, we're rolling a die. I'm back to where I was. Yeah. I, I'm sure I'm positive that the way it works. Yeah. But you're still not sure one way or the other. Yeah. Um so anyway. Alright. But that'll do it. Okay. Thanks for listening. Till next time.